What's going on? My name is David Page. I'm a professional singer and guitarist. My wife and I just finished a contract on board the Carnival Elation as the onboard musical mainstream duo. I'm going to show you everything that we did in order to land this gig and what you can do if you wanted to be a performer on a cruise ship. One of the most important things that you're gonna to need to book the gig is a performance reel. While this contract was our first time performing on a cruise ship, it was absolutely not our first time performing. We are seasoned veterans performing here on land and making videos of our performances has been something that I've been doing for a really long time. This doesn't have to be a giant production. You don't need to make sure that you're in the best venue you've ever performed in. We set up two cameras in our living room and multi-track recorded using our Behringer XR18. That's the mixer that we use for in-ear monitoring as well as for recording. And then we ran through about 15 or 16 of our favorite songs to play. We wanted to put together a video that would highlight all of the best qualities of our performances together. Having said that, the more production value you put into your performance reel, the better the video is going to look. I'm gonna leave the link to our performance reel in the comments below. The next thing we needed to submit was a resume. And while neither of us had ever performed on a cruise ship before, we both have separately and together extensive performance careers. I toured regularly for about six years, both as a solo artist and with my band. And Stephanie has been performing professionally from the time that she was eight years old. And some of her performance credits even include an off-Broadway production. Well, I don't think it's absolutely necessary that you have a decade's worth of experience or more, it is important that you highlight what experience you do have in a way that showcases that you can handle being in a performance scenario that is strenuous, where you'll be performing every single day for the duration of your contract. The last thing we needed to put together was a song list. We put together a list of about 500 songs, some that I knew alone, some that she knew alone, a bunch that we knew together, and there were even some songs in there that neither one of us knew, but we knew we had to learn in order to be performing on a cruise ship. Once you have these assets in hand, you have everything that you need in order to get yourself a gig. We found an agent that was willing to pitch us to different cruise lines, or you can apply directly through each cruise line's website. The benefit of going with an agent to pitch you to cruise lines is that they have an established relationship with those cruise lines, and so that brings your application to the top of the pile. The downside to having an agent is that they're probably going to take about 10% of your income. Show me the money! To us, that was well worth it because once we had uh, secured our agent, we had offers almost overnight. Congratulations, you're still my agent. The other benefit to having an agent is that you have someone who knows the industry that can talk you through everything that's going on. And it felt really good to have a support of someone who already knows the industry really well. There are several large agencies out there that will help you get placed with a cruise line, or you could find yourself more of a boutique type of agent, someone who is gonna give you a little bit more one-on-one -on -one personalized attention, and that's the route that Stephanie and I ended up going. What you gonna do, Gary? In order to decide if you want to work on a cruise ship, you have to weigh the pros and cons. There's so many things that we loved about working on a cruise ship, and there's some stuff that we absolutely did not like. So um, I'm gonna make a video about that. You can check that out right here. Are you ready? 